In this vlog, we'll be looking at homes in Summerlin South and West to get a perspective on what the homes and community is like in Summerlin. Our decided price range is about $700,000 and we'll be looking at single and two-story for sale homes. Please join us. Ladera community in Summerlin and we're looking at a home here and checking it out. So far, the community is alright. Similar to Seven Hills, a lot of green trees. A nice and elegant homes here in Summerland. The first, this is the first house we're viewing. It's in the for sale side. And it's a side. Located in Summerland South. This house was built in 2009. The asking price for this two-story home is about $615,000. This is for a four-bedroom, three-bath with a living area of about 2,365 square feet. The additional expense includes a $74 monthly home association fee. Now, let's take a tour. Okay, small garage. That's for the bathroom. So, uh, half a bathroom. Downstairs. Let's look at the backyard. Oh wow. As you can see, the backyard is well manicured and is definitely ready to move in to enjoy and have some barbecue and parties with the family. Oh, there's a dual AC, split AC. And this is the upstairs. Okay. The master bedroom looks a little bit smaller than the previous homes that we've seen so far, but it's big enough for the two of us. Okay. And the bathroom. Now let's go outside and look at the balcony and enjoy the surrounding neighborhood. I could definitely see myself sipping coffee in the morning or eating breakfast and enjoy the clear blue sky as we have now or at night and stargaze. This is one of the three bedroom upstairs. As you can see, it's a typically average size. Now let's explore the other rooms. If you like this content, please support my channel by subscribing and clicking the like button. This is a more prestigious neighborhood in Summerlin with the parks and places to do. Now we are driving in Summerlin West to view some houses. The asking price for this home, built in 1996, is about $675,000. This is for a 5-bedroom, 3-bath with a living area of about 3,073 square feet. The additional expense include a $60 monthly home association fee. Now, let's explore. The kitchen is definitely remodeled and looks very nice. The backyard is huge and it's definitely have plenty of room and space to build a swimming pool in the future to cool off and the summer heat and enjoy the big space for parties and social gathering with family and friends. Now let's check out the room downstairs starting with the bedroom, then the bathroom, then the garage and the laundry room. Oh wow.
Now let's head on upstairs and check out the rest of the rooms starting with the bedroom. looked at a uh, five bedroom three bath uh, here in Summerland excuse me <clears throat> uh, and it's 675 and while we can afford the price we feel like the home is too big for us but it's nice uh, again our kids are getting older and at some point it'll just uh, we'll just be empty nester so that's another thing that we're thinking of when we're purchasing a home when we retire is uh, it should be big enough for just the two of us with our kids visiting us uh, once in a while so that's another another uh, things that we're thinking of when assessing to buy a home in Las Vegas this house is located in Summerlin West built in 1999 the asking price for this one-story home is about six hundred seventy thousand dollars this is for a four bedroom, three bath with a living area of about 2,425 square feet. The additional expense include a $60 monthly home association fee. Now let's see what this place has to offer. The room definitely seems a little smaller than the previous homes that we looked at. Oh, hello. And this is the laundry area. This is the master bedroom, definitely purple, a lot of space for me and the wife. And this is the master bathroom. This is the family room, and next to it is the kitchen, which looks okay. The backyard is definitely the highlight of this home. As you can see, the swimming pool looks very nice, and alongside it is the park. This one definitely has a swimming pool. And this is your backyard close to the park. And you can have a, a truck there. So in terms of Henderson and Summerlin, let's see what my wife thinks about it. What do you think about Henderson and Summerlin? So there, there's a pros and cons um, between Henderson and Summerlin. So in terms of location, if you are coming down from Interstate 15, coming from Los Angeles or coming from Bakersfield Bay Area, you'll pass by Henderson first and then from Henderson it's another 25 minute drive to the Strip, to the Las Vegas Strip. For Summerlin, you'll have to pass Henderson past the Las Vegas Strip and from the Las Vegas trip, it's about 25 minute drive to Summerlin going north. So that is something to consider when you're looking at homes here in Las Vegas. So Henderson is more on the east or west and Summerlin is on the west side. And also another thing to consider 
is that in Henderson, it seems like it's a more established, older community. And uh, Summerlin uh, feels like a more newer, up and coming community and a lot more uh, greenery. And it's uh, some of the houses are more modern and not dated. And that's also, also another thing to consider. Well, what do you think? And one thing also that I noticed between Henderson and Summerlin is that Summerlin is much bigger community. Like you could drive 20 minutes to another side of Summerlin versus in Henderson, it seems like there are 10, 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes from different locations, different communities within Henderson. So that is something to consider. The house tours allowed us to pinpoint which community we prefer to live in if we were to retire early in Las Vegas. We prefer Summerlin. Besides being a newer community, the neighborhoods are beautiful and there's plenty of parks and outdoor spaces to explore. Also, the downtown shopping and dining area seems very nice. We'll definitely focus our attention in Summerlin to purchase a home as one of our options to retire early in Las Vegas. Thank you for watching the vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. See you on the next one.